Hey guys, what's going on? So we are at the 2019 Boat Sport and Travel Show. Uh, we're over in the camper section. Uh, we went all through the tackle. We haven't been through the boat yet, which will be fun, but we mainly came to look at, uh, you know, we were at the RV show earlier this year, but we came to see what all they had to offer at the Boat Sport and Travel Show. We're gonna show you guys around a little bit, take a tour of some of the campers. So we're gonna check out some of the new Abax. Love the styles in these, very country feeling. Brandy. Give that off. I won't put you on camera. Okay. <gasps> I love that. That is pretty cool. That's the way the TV pops up and down. That is cool shit. So this little Clipper Cadet, really low weight. I need to find out the exact weight. Okay, so you're looking at a dry weight of 2,873 pounds. Look at this little guy. You got the bunks, Clipper Cadet. Very cool, I gotta show the bathroom. Check that out. It's actually a really nice size camper for 9995. I do like TV being right across from it like mm -hmm. that. What are we in right now? Let's see here. We're in the 27 RES. Pass through bathroom. I like that. You got room on both sides of the bed. So this is the SGS, I believe. Let's take a look. 27 SGS. Yep. Love the recliners. We have that in ours. It's fantastic. And a nice big dinette area. Here's one of the newer passport styles they have. It's on the smaller side. This is the 240BH. It's got the big U shaped booth dinette. Double bunks. 300 pounds a piece. So, I mean, you know, you could have friends and stuff. Nice big bathroom. So this is the passport. You have the door to the bathroom, which I absolutely love because you keep people from tracking in and out of your camper to go to the bathroom. You get your double bunk room. Really nice size. Let's go here to the other bathroom. So you have a master bathroom with the pass through. Nice bedroom with the ship lack, which is really nice. I think I'm saying that right. Let's go back and check that bunk out real quick. So this is the 2950 BH, 6,100 pounds dry. So not bad, can be pulled with uh, most of your half ton towable trucks. Nice big bunk area. I do love, it's one of my favorite things. We're missing in our new Cougar, but that's okay. The uh, bathroom with the outside access. Let's check out the bedroom. They look like people have been pretty rough on. How about we check out a toy hauler? So this is the Vengeance 31V. Love the colors. See the little accent lights below. So we'll come around. We immediately got the bathroom. Nice big bathroom. Look at all this space in the bedroom. This is nice. Come around. Show some of the features of this. I like how they've done the little accent wallpaper there. And then we come out to the massive party area. This does have the bed that comes down. So really you could convert this. I've seen some people like full-time RVers that convert this to like a kid's room. It's pretty cool. Go check out the big Montana HC331 RL. Oh yeah. 
the ceiling fan. And nothing really says luxury like uh, Montana. But the giant residential refrigerator. Tons and tons of storage in this camper. Let's go back here and check out the bathroom and the bedroom. I always love the bedrooms and bathrooms in these Montanas. Double sinks, his and hers, or hers and hers. Nice big shower area. King bed. Shiplap. Again, I think I'm saying that right. Nice big closet. Washer dryer prep. Yep, right there. Nice TV here. Montana always does such a nice job. Check out this little guy here. This is the Clipper Cadet. 9.0 TD. Look at this little guy. Get your air conditioning, you got heat, you got a little refrigerator, plenty of room for beer. What more do you need? So maybe in four or five years, Sarah and I are talking about doing something like this. This is the Sun Seeker. I absolutely love this. Troy, come in here. This is the one that Sarah and I are talking about. I brought Troy with me. Say hi, Troy. Peace. So I brought Troy. This is what Sarah and I are talking about upgrading to, or not necessarily upgrading to, but changing to in four or five years. To the service manager. So see, you've got seat belts here on both sides, Troy. So you've got safety here. You've got a backup camera and then side cameras. So when you turn your turn signal on, those cameras come on so you can actually see what you're doing. I don't know that we'll ever use this except for maybe storage. You know what I mean? But nice big bedroom area, shower, bath. So we're going into the Puma section. There's our current one, the 32 RKTS. Let's go check out this 32 RBFQ. Ooh, I like the colors in this. Got the bunkhouse back there. This is nice. See, I love how the Pumas do their slides on the bedroom. Look how much space you have. This is like our 32 RKTS where we have all this room. You have the washer dryer prep the nice big um, cabinet and what I love is that is prepped for an AC and we got the second AC to help keep it cooler in the bedroom when we travel down south yeah. 